and I would like to wish you a very good morning. And uh, this is just an announcement from the sports secretary. Uh, once you finish uh, signing, please uh, do not forget to sign also. So once you finish uh, signing, there will be an opening prayer and the lights will, uh, the lamp will be lit. Once the lamp is lit, uh, there will be a march past from each house. So please do stand in front of your counters for the march past, okay, and uh, be ready for it. Thank you. House members and uh, captains, please do note that uh, gather all your teammates near your respective places. I repeat, captains, please do rearrange all your teammates in your respective places. Thank you. Mr. Hotel, rest. Larson, Larson. We are at home. We are here to celebrate life in its fullest. Sports and games wings of our carry society has thought it through. The treats and workshops are common, but a game is not so. It has emotions. It has chemistry. It has more and more not. Physical strength and coordination is important for our ministry. Keeping the temple of God in good shape makes others to admire that temple of God. Anyway, we are here to celebrate victories and losses, friendships and families, hard work and honor. We achieve daily lows is not the end but the beginning of a noble and adventurous life. With that, I want to say that I think the Yellow House has the victory this year. I don't think so. Thrill is needed, in a, uh, needed for a person to live life to its fullest. So let us, as Unity Community, live a life filled with thrill and risk. Whoa! Uh, now we invite uh, our YMCA director, um, Rajiv Sir, to open the with a word of Shall we pray? Before I pray, I just want to give a piece of information that it was in the year 1924 that was the first time the Indian contingent participated in Olympics. That was the 8th Olympic and that was in Paris. And this year again, 2024, we are going to have the Olympics in Paris so Indian YMCA and Indian Sports Fraternity is celebrating centenary year of its participation in the Olympic Games. Thank you. Shall we pray? Loving Heavenly, merciful, mighty Lord, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity. As we are gathered here this morning, this lovely, pleasant morning, to celebrate the sports and the games and the physical activities. Thank you Lord for giving us this wonderful campus, the beautiful surroundings, which already gives us extra dose of oxygen to each one of us who are living in these premises. As we are going to inaugurate the sports and the games activities of the United Theological College, I place each and every student each and every participant, each and, each and every member of the various houses so that we all come together. We participate with the sports person's spirit not to win 
but to be participate and be part of the bigger family. I place all the arrangements, all the preparations, all the organizers, organizers into your hands, Lord. I especially pray for our chief guest for this morning, our principal, our faculty advisor for the sports and games, and each and every team which is present here so that we can have a wonderful inauguration and open the activities for the whole year. I ask all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, respected dignitaries. And now we will start with the march past. Look at Harry Nice. Good spirit. So um, let's start with the march past. Once the music starts, <laughs> y'all can start shouting. Theological College community, we praise God for yet another year where we are able to 
inaugurate our sports day. David Hopluck. Respected Charles Borromeo, sir, madam, sir, and dignitaries, sports coordinators, and all the team. We praise God for the successful way you have planned for the inauguration. And I wish you all the blessings for the day. Friends, it was such a motivating thing to see all the houses doing the march past, especially the little children holding flags of your respective houses. It is charming. I want to introduce today the youngest participant who is Varadhan from the Herrick House. Where is Varadhan? He's just born. So we can, we can cheer for the father. Wonderful. And welcome to Varadhan. And he is from the Herrick House. That is great, friends. I'm also very much happy. I've been in Europe. And I've been, I've been in Helsinki visiting the Theological College because one of our former exchange students is a professor there. And this relationship, being in Helsinki, and when I have read, Sir, our chief guest today has represented the first World Athletic Championship held in Helsinki, I am really touched by the fact 40 years ago, Sir represented India and that's a great thing. And I also record that in 1984, you had been in Los Angeles, 84, I joined the United Theological College in BD orientation. So historical dates today coincide so well and it makes me feel very excited. We've asked the YMCA director, Mr. Rajiv Sir, to do the opening prayer. And I want to tell you, friends, half of the games that we play, that we do in sports, have been created by the YMCA worldwide. We need to know that. And thank you very much, sir. So, my dear friends, I want to wish you all very well. But I want to recall what I said on the inauguration of the Kerry Society. We had one friend, a co-student during my study days here. He got a new pair of spikes, a, a sports jacket, some wristbands. He was totally prepared to participate in every event. And he participated in every event, but he never got to get any prizes in any of the events. Those days I made a lot of fun of him. He was my thing for fun. But today, coming back as a principal, looking at the same event, it brings a new message for me. Sports is not for prizes, but participation. With these words, I want to encourage you and all the best to every house. The Larson, who was the champion last time? Thorpe, con congratulations to you for being and try to keep it up. <laughs> Devanandam, you were almost following. Hope you will make it this time. All the best. Yes. Herrick, with the new arrival of Vardhan, I think he has brought so much good luck for you. All the best for you, Harry. Is the other? The other? Larson. <laughs> Larson. Larson, all the best for you. God bless you, friends. Three cheers to UTC. Hip hip. God bless you. Good morning, Devanandan. Good morning. 
Herrick? Yeah. Larson? Yeah. Carl? Yeah. I want to wish all the house members, uh, captains, vice captains, the little ones, family, spouses, and students, a very good morning to all of you. It's my honor to welcome and also introduce our chief guest, Charles Borromeo. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation. I want to greet our principal, Professor Reverend Dr. Chulikri Vasantrao. Yeah. And I also want to honor our YMCA director. Thank you so much for your presence. And also to Cyril Thompson, the Secretary of Sports. And the Kerry Society Secretary, Naomi, wherever you are. And I want to greet all of you. Let me take this opportunity to introduce our very renowned chief guest and we once again thank him for accepting our invitation and to grace this inauguration with his presence. Charles Borromeo, probably for many of us, is not new. He is a renowned person, a very important sports personality in India, but let me take this opportunity to introduce to him to our gathering this morning. Was, he was born on 1st December 1958 at Devakoti, Tamil Nadu, and he studied at the De Berito High School, Devakoti, and graduated in BA Economics and Psychology at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad. Since his childhood, he was interested in, in sports and therefore he participated in many of the events both at school level, college level, and university level. In the year 1978, the year where I, when I was born, so some historical year, uh, which represent, he represented, uh, while representing Gujarat University at the All India Inter-University Athletic Championship, his talents was exposed at 400 meters and 800 track events and he won a silver medal in 800 with a new championship record. Thus he qualified to represent Indian universities at World University Games held at Mexico in 1979 and finished seventh in the final. He was the national champion in 800 from the year 1982 to 1987 by creating a new national games record. He represented India 34 times, out of which he won 31 international medals from the year 1978 to 1987. We are so proud of him and the major highlight of his international achievements are Gold medal in Asian Games at, the Del at Delhi in 1982 with a new games record. The first Indian to run below 1 minute 47 seconds on Indian soil. He represented India in the first World Athletic Championship at Helens Helsinki, Finland. In 1984, represented the India in Los Angeles Olympics in USA, and he won the silver medals in 1985 at the Asian Track and Field SAF Games. So, for his outstanding sports performance, the government of India recognized him with a prestigious award, the Arjuna Award in 1983, and the Padma Shri Award in 1984. So in addition to this award, he won the best sportsman of the year in the entire Tata group of companies in 1984 and excellence in sports in 2001 by the Tata Sports Club Mumbai. So after he, he, his graduation, he joined Tata Steel in the year 1979 and held various positions through his tenure for 37 years at the Tata Steel and was last associated with the firm as head of sports department. So during this period, his ability to contribute to sports administration, 
to collaborate and organize national and international sports competitions and to enhance brand value of Tata Steel Group manifold. His hard work and strategic planning helped encapsulate Tata Steel brand value with company service. So he organized many sports competition across schools and colleges to inculcate the values of sports in a student's life. And this is the right time for us to have him so that he can encourage us to understand how sports is valuable in a university or a college level. He also spent a good part of his career identifying the right talent and grooming the sports person to represent India internationally. While sports was his main focus area, he also spent quality time to improve lifestyle of intellectually impaired persons. He was the director of sports, Special Olympic Bharat for three years, and some of the major roles that he played as a sports administrators are Chairman in National Council of Athletics School Sports Promotion Foundation, which is known as SSPF, Sports Brand Ambassador, Bharatiya University Tamil Nadu Coimbatore Tamil Nadu, Chief Executive Officer Youth Development Consortium and Chennai International Youth Fest 2019 and a professor of eminence of Monomanyam Sudharanar University, Trinavali, Tamil Nadu, and the program director on Five Star Fitness. So he got married in 1987 to Vinci Nirmala Rani with two children, Roshni and Joshua Baromio, and presently resides in Chennai as well as Bangalore, and he uses his time to contribute to the field of sports as sports consultant, and in his spare time, he, he likes to listen to music and social work. So sir, we are so honored to have you in our midst to address this August gathering, and we thank you also for accepting our invitation. Now, uh, we invite our honored chief guest, Sir Charles Borromeo, to give his speech. I begin saying, in the name of Jesus, I deliver this address to you all, and may God bless each and every one of us. Respected Principal, Honorable Director of YMCA, Mr. Rajiv, the Sports Coordinator of this institution, Mr. Sil, Sports Coordinator, and all the other sports teachers, the captains, and the, the team, sports team led by all of you. And I see the Hindu amongst you to participate in the field of sports and culture. And it gives me a great pleasure to be amongst you on this Saturday, 5th July, 2024. I'm honored and delighted and thankful to Cyril to uh, invited me through Koshi of uh, General Secretary of YMCA Delhi. And I am more than happy to be here. There are many reasons to be there and few of the reasons that I always say this in the core of my heart, such occasions are never been repeated. And such speeches are, comes from my heart. Today, I have not prepared for my speeches as I used to do earlier. It comes from my heart. So I would like to thank each and every one of you and thank for Madam who has introduced me to your occasion. And most importantly, as all of you are preparing yourself to deliver the message to be a messiah or to messenger and to be always hear from you. But today is one day that you are going to hear from me because that's a sports achievements. As your sports coordinator, I read out my achievements and I want to, I want to emphasize only one thing. My talent, my sports into has been recognized 
none other than the YMCA, the, the sports fraternity. 1977, when I participated at the YMCA Athletic Meet at Delhi, it's a YMCA who have inculcated the team spirit and talent identified. And I would like to thank the director of present here, Mr. Raji, for the wonderful work they're doing. And above all, as he said, 1924, the Olympics led by our YMCA manager. And 19, 19, 2024, I will be in Paris to keep the same message of YMCA and keep the Indian flag higher because I am going to be at, at Paris, you know, beginning of next month. As I said, the sports teaches the various things. The sports teaches the determination, the willpower, the self-confident, and above all, the trust in Almighty. These are the four characters that we speak to our school children, the college children, our institutions, in a greater deal. I am not going to elaborate these four characters which, because you are a theological or philosophical, you're going deeper into a spirit of, a spirit of spiritual life and you learn much more than what a normal person will know. However, I would like to emphasize only on the spirit that you have, the spirit that you have shown, led by your principle, the endu that he has been created, and that spirit, the fitness program. The fitness, I am only talking about the you know, physical fitness. Your physical fitness will enhance your mind training, your spiritual well-being, and social, you know, accommodating social and economical well status. Your physical wellness will always make you a personality to accept and hear from you. So hence, all your participants, I request you to spend some time on your, you know, physical activities like jogging, yoga, gardening, whichever there that you like to have. We are not going to specify uh, so many games, but surely spend some time. As we say in spiritual life, we say spend some time, you know, alone to experience God. Please experience yourself to know what is your strength are. What is your weakness? Can I improve upon my weakness and to improve? What is the strength that we are talking about? The strength of stamina, endurance, and also, you know, concentration power. These three powers, we come from a sports activities. The sports teaching you to win. Always it is say that, you know, it be better to be a participant than a winner. But all of us, any of us who are going to participate in the field of sports, we are there to win. For which? The hard work, the determination, the willpower, and the trusting in yourself and the God will always will help you to be a better person, better winner. So, in order to achieve such things, the only one thing is required is the team spirit. The team spirit that you could show amongst your team and also make your opponent to be better person accept his winning spirit too. And that is a spirit that I look forward to all of you because tomorrow when you go out, you're going to be a leader. You're going to be a church leader. You're going to be a leader in school and colleges and institution. The spirit of accepting the others listening power will make you better. Today in the, the world of sports, the people are going around making peace and bringing unite, uh, unite people. Only in the world, only one place, there is no, there is no feeling of any other, other than the human. When you, when you stand in the finals of any events at the track and field or any sports meet, or any team games. There is no religion. There is no caste. There is no community. It is we all are human beings belong to Almighty. That's a spirit which sports teaching us. That's a spirit. So sports will always enhance your human and personal life. 
And at last, I would like to make your personal commitment to this institution and above all, your personality. Make our India proud. Make our nation so that we progress in our human life better and sports in a way that we can contribute as a, a smaller thing than what we can do. What we can do? Two things that we can do. One, my behavior, he will be an example to the others. Two, whatever I preach, I practice. May God bless all of you and I hope enjoy your sports activities for the year 2024-25. May God bless all of you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you so much, sir, for your wonderful speech and letting us know what the sports spirit teaches us. Now, we would like to honor you, sir, and for that, I would like to call uh, our sports convener, YMCA director, and principal, sir, to honor our chief guest. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I, I see people just uh, sitting down like as if this is a seminar on uh, Dalit theology or something like that. When <laughs> everyone's serious, I, I think I need someone to. Um, I, okay, wait. Uh, let, let me see. Uh, is Devanandan here? Is there captain here? Devanandan's captain and vice captain. Okay, what is your slogan? Devanandan, Devanandan! Some more energy, man. No energy. See, Eric is telling no energy. What is this? Eric, come on, let me see what's your slogan. Sabas, Sabas, nice, good. And uh, the champions of last year, are you all here? Yes or no? Sleeping? Okay. Yesterday was Friday night, man, not today. Okay. Don't sleep too much. And where's Larson? The team? Yeah. See, less in number but more in sound. Good, good. Yeah. So, last year champions. Some boys, man. <laughs> Been infiltrated by Larson anyway, no worries. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is this is the war cry of Larson, I believe. Good. So Torp, be ready for Larson's I don't know, missiles or anything. Okay? Yeah. And now uh, I would request everyone to please stand. Um, open your right hands, keep it in front, not like Hitler's, but to your chest. Yeah? We are going to uh, 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 not become Nazis, so don't worry, we'll be taking an oath. So, your hand to your chest, meaning that you are going to do it wholeheartedly. 
a hand to your chest, meaning that this is your dedication, this is your spirit that you are going to give to your own houses, to yourself and to your self-achievements. Let me ask you all to close your eyes and repeat this oath with us. I do hereby solemnly I do hereby solemnly swear that I will abide by all the rules of the games that I will respect all goals and decisions of the referees and the game officials and that I will act at all times as a true sports person whose desire to win is only second to the love of this or to the love of the game itself I further solemnly declare that each game is a friendly contest done in the spirit of camaraderie and true friendship where we triumph as considerate victors or losers with grace and determined will to win grace and determined will to win to all these ideals I hereby pledge my wholehearted cooperation and full commitment so help me God Thank you all for responding to us. Okay, now you can take your seats. Yeah, and this is uh, an announcement. So the last year champions, please uh, do come forward with your trophies, shouting your slogan to return the trophy to the sports secretary. Uh, wholeheartedly, okay? Wholeheartedly. Don't forget, wholeheartedly. The last year's captain, the last year's vice captain, this year's captain, and this year's vice captain. And the rest of the team, please do come forward with the trophy. The announcement is long so that you can come early, yeah? So that you don't take too much time. So please do come forward. Hey. It's for day uh, one of it. Please return it with the whole heart aid so that we can take it from you. <laughs> Thank you. Please take your seats. Now it is safe. We yellow can take it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for fun, man. Don't worry. All these things are not serious. So, <laughs> okay. I take this opportunity to thank all those who have been instrumental towards making this event a success. First of all, I thank God Almighty for making all of this possible. I thank our principal, Professor Raymond Dr. Chilkuri Vasantrao for granting permission to execute this event and gracing the occasion with his presence. I thank our sports convener, Professor Dr. Kaholi Zimame and our IPC faculty convener, Professor Reverend Dr. Alexander M. Isaac for providing me with guidance and support in planning and execute the event. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the United Theological College, 
I thank our beloved chief guest for the occasion, Mr. Charles Bromio, for graciously accepting our invitation and make this event memorable through his words and presence. Thank you, sir. And I would also like to thank Dr. Kaushi Alexander for helping me to get in touch with our chief guest and organize the event schedule accordingly. I thank Mr. Rajiv Kunwarjan for invoking God's blessing through the opening prayer and the grace the occasion with his presence. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sharon Krishna, IPC student convener, for being my side throughout this event. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. I thank the MCs of the event, Joel Charles Thomas and Pilyamin for keeping us beautifully engaged throughout the event. Thank you. Thank you, dear captains and vice captains, for taking up the responsibility. The complete sports events for this academic year depends on our work and coordination. Hence, looking forward to the memorable experience. I thank all volunteers who supported me to do this event successful. Thank you. Last but not least, I thank the UTC community for their presence. Thank you all. Let us have the fun-filled year ahead. Thank you. Now we shall have the closing prayer by IPC con convener Sharon Christina. Let us all look to God in prayer. Our most gracious and loving God, we thank you for this beautiful morning. As we are going to commence our sports and games event for the academic year 2024 to 2025, we ask your guiding presence to charge us. We submit the whole sports and games committee into your precious hand. We pray for our sports secretary, faculty advisor, and for all the captains and vice captains of our houses. We also pray for the players, protect them from harm and danger while they are playing. Help us to play together with the united team spirit and help us to bring glory to your name. We pray for our chief guest who is in the midst of us today. And also we thank you for our carry office bearers. Once again, we ask your guiding presence to be with us all throughout this year, especially in the sports events. We ask all these things through our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, everybody, uh, for being a good champ here and uh, giving us a good energy here. And now we will be starting the volleyball uh, match in another few minutes. So we ask the community to go to the volleyball court that is towards my left and the counters please close the head count counts okay so don't forget captains and vice captains this is an announcement close the head count we see that Devananda is calling for the last call no worries we've already closed the accounts okay good so, um, snacks will be provided near the mess hall that is also towards my left. So, please, the community, go and be ready there. Volunteers from each house who are uh, representing your each house, please do help in distributing the snacks. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. Where are we going? Bruce, he's Bruce. 
Okay. Thank you, sir. Nice. Yeah, both of you. It's okay. It's okay.